that. Now, you had to go flat tracking. That went pretty good. You were on, I think, X Cliff Car KTM out there. No, no, you were hanging in there. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah. And all that, they're off on, they're off on Lincolnshire, um, all the flat trackers, and I, I do a bit of engine work for them, and um, they said, well, I'll come over. So yeah, yeah, two pounds of guineas and that. I said, it'll be, it'll be all right. So yeah, bit of riding. I'm shit. I've not rode a motorbike since um, last, yeah, last September. So it's good. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, so test the, test the, test the water a bit. It's been all right. But right. I'll get another go this afternoon, I reckon. I'll say, just um, yeah, try and get rid of a few of the cobwebs. You gonna have another go this afternoon? I reckon right, so. I reckon right, so. Why not? I thought, yeah, so I keep getting pissed off me. It's just boggy sand, and I said, oh, they've got knobbly tyres, and I said, that's against the rules, and them boys can do it, but I can't bloody do it. But there's like, there's like Tim and Tom Lee, they're only about 17 year olds. They're mustard around there, mustard, I can't keep with them, I can't see which way they've gone. Yeah, but they're not real good around the TT. So, you know, you know, it, it, you know fair point, you know, you do what you do, and, and as you said, you haven't been out on that track. But it is tough out there, the guys are doing a really good job. Like you say, the Neves twins out there, 17 years old from, I think, Market Raisin, and they're a couple of youngsters to keep an eye out, I'd say, for the future. Oh, without that, the going to be some, going to be a pair of boys. I mean, <laughs> as long as they don't discover um, beer and fanny, well, I think they've discovered beer. <laughs> well, that can say, that's, that's women, actually. <laughs> yeah, sorry, yeah, that's knackered many a race, aren't it? So, ruined me. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, yeah, beer and fanny's been, but yeah, it's been... Yeah, upon a lot of risks. So if they can get through that stage, and, and, then, and then that's it, I think we might have another pair of, pair of Rosses there maybe. We'll see, but yeah, they're, they're, they're serious boys, yeah. What is it about Lincolnshire? Because you've got the Lowe's boys as well, a couple of real good stonking riders there, then the Needs lads coming up yourself, and over the years there's been so many Lincolnshire riders. Is it Cabell Park, or what is it? I don't know, I'm not far from Cabell, but none of us are far from Cabell really, but I don't like, I don't like Cabell. I'm not, you know, I'm not a big short circuit, but I don't know what it is. I don't, I don't know what it is, I mean there's no... I mean, the roads are alright. I mean, but I haven't done a deal of road riding. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what you mean, I don't know. Maybe it's something to do with the spuds or something. Yeah, it's got to be something to do with the parsnips or the spuds or something like that around it. So it's where do they grow parsnips? They're not, they're not, they're not many five year crop rotations with parsnips in, do you? I don't know. <laughs> do you? I don't know. Carrots or something like that? I'm not too sure. I just assumed that they would grow them around there. They've got good land around there. So yeah, do you know, I don't know. Do you know your five year crop rotation? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> wheat, wheat. Actually, the best crop rotation apparently is the four Bs. Which is Bali, Bali, Bungalows, Barbados. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> that's the one, yeah, that's the four year rotation. That's what the farmers have to do around here. But I know there is an awful lot of food growing around. But riding dirt track like these guys do, got to be good for your road race. And eventually it gives you throttle control and, and sliding. Yeah, it can't hurt, can it? It can't hurt. But then, unlike a sandpit out there, I don't know, I just, I just get pissed off. I don't know. I, don't know. I only get pissed off because I'm shit. I just wish, if I could get the gist of it a bit better, I'd be a bit better. But I'm just, I don't, I just need the feel, I ain't got the feel for it, but it's alright. Yeah, it's, it's not going to do me any harm, is it? It won't do me any harm. So, yeah, I'll go and have another lap, another lap after and see how I go. And what about this big turbocharged bike you're building? Apparently, that's all it's like. Hey, it's, it's in Street Fighter, right? Okay. No, it's not. I, I'm, I'm reading Street Fighter. I always, I always see what other people are doing, and my bike will be nothing like anybody else's bike, but it'll be done. I've got a lot of bits. It's not far off. I reckon another three or four months of it we've done. I've just been making a lot of stuff. Got a lot of more bits for the engine, more bigger turbo, better fuel injection for it. It'll be all right. We're doing big horsepower, and it'll be done. I reckon three or four months it'll be done. And it'll, yeah, it will look like nothing else you've ever seen before. It will look the And make sure you just look at the motorbikes in there, because you know what it said about women in there. That's going to ruin ruin your race and everything else. So stay. You'll go blind absolutely. Stay away from that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one of the true characters of our lovely sport, he's out there doing it, he's enjoying it, he's getting involved with everything that's going on, he's building himself a very special motorbike. Ladies and gentlemen, Guy Martin, good luck. Thank you very much for doing it. Really taking part, it's excellent to see that. So we've had some lovely people up here, Jack Kennedy's been up here, we've had the Glock family, we've now had Guy Martin, enjoy the rest of the show today.